Okay, this is what we're working with. Working with a uh, 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee with the 4.0 Laredo. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to change the uh, front brakes and rotors um, step by step. Let's, let's get with it. Yeah. Pulling out the top caliper boat. That's the lower caliper boat. Now he's going to take. He's going to take the caliper off. This is your front brake pads right here. You can see they go right in this this caliper bracket. He's going to disassemble them right now. As you can see, they're pretty worn out. Uh, life expectancy on this, uh, on this pad is probably about 80% wore out. We're changing the pads and the rotors. The caliper bracket has two bolts, one on top and one on the bottom. Okay, now just slide that out. There's the bottom bolt. And there's the top boat. Okay, that is the caliper bracket. Now we're able to uh, disassemble uh, the rotor from the uh, wheel bearing. And that right there is your rotor. Uh, we're going to reinstall the new one. Install the new one, excuse me. We're going to take some brake cleaner and we're going to wipe down the uh, grease film around the rotor to make sure it's nice and clean so it doesn't get a grease film on the pads. Make sure you do that, uh, clean the grease off the rotors uh, with a brake cleaner. Line up the boat hose and everything's fitting pretty good. Now we're going to reinstall the brake caliper bracket. That is the brake caliper bracket. Remember that we have two bolts that hold that on. That is your top bolt. And that will be your bottom. Now we're going to install the new pads. They slide in clips and you can push them in uh, up to the rotor. Now they're on where they're supposed to be. He's going to install now the brake caliper. You also got two boats on that. You got your, of course, your upper boat. And you have this, this die right here, this, um, this little guide tip. You have a, a flat spot here, and you also have a uh, an area where you can make sure you line up that flat spot with that caliper. Very important that you do that. It's 
basically a stopper point so that you don't have to use a wrench behind it. What you're doing is tightening the front boat and it comes to that stopping point where it's not going to move. It's going to allow you to tighten it. already got the uh, caliper and the rotor on. Everything's pretty much assembled. This is what it looks like. He's done a fine job putting that together. Once again, thanks uh, for sharing this video.